we know that unfortunately young people are dying because of ecstasy. Young people are dying because there is too much ecstasy in their system uh, and compounded by overheating and dehydration is resulting in, in the causes of death. Uh, we need to be very clear that we need to do more when it comes to education, when it comes to highlighting the risks, when it comes to making sure that event organisers have the medical supervision plus all those safety mes messages during these concerts. There is so much we need to do. That is why last year I asked the experts to give me advice on how to make these festivals safer. And look, pill testing doesn't deal with the issues of overdoses. It doesn't deal with the issues of the fact that one person's body might take a particular dose or a particular tablet and someone else's won't. Well, the ex expert panel gave us their recommendations late last year. Some of them we had to implement immediately in terms of licensing regimes and new event uh, organisers or new events in the future have to comply with those extra provisions. But the recommendations also refer to better education, better access to medical attention and better advice uh, at the festivals. And those are all a work in progress. I'm not going to pretend that our work is done, it's not. The panel made some very strong recommendations in relation to education, in relation to messaging. In fact, the messaging and the medical supervision and the presence of other authorities at these festivals has been increasing since the expert panel gave its recommendations late last year. It's a work in progress. In the meantime, can I please urge young people, we want you to have fun. We want you to enjoy yourselves. But please know that taking a pill risks your life or the life of your friends. And please don't subject yourself or your friends and family to the tragedy that we've seen all too frequently in the last few months.